Today we are looking at 10 tips to improve and speed up your crochet. I'm Tuula and I'm interested in everything to do with crochet. If you are new to my channel, you can subscribe and also click on the bell so you don't miss any future videos. I have longer videos to some of these tips that we are looking at now, so check on the video description for those. And let's start. When you are changing color, you will want to have a straight clean line. Not that the colors run into each other, like that there. To achieve that, always change the color already at the last stage of the stitch. Here I have double crochets, so I'm making the stitch, but leaving it here, one stage left, and I change the color now. Here's a straight clean line. And the same in single crochet. And change the yarn now. This is a tip for fine or medium weight yarns. I'm running out of yarn here and then leaving a piece and taking the new yarn with approximately the same length of a piece and twisting them together like this here. Then I continue to crochet having this double and just leaving a small yarn end. Here now I'm getting the twisted bit and I just continue normally across. And a few stitches, more, and then leave off the second yarn and continue normally. And then just cut these off. No need for weaving them in. Instead of making a chain to start when your first row is going to be single crochets, you can make the single crochets straight away. Chain two, hook into the first one of those and get the yarn. Again the yarn and only pull through one. And now again yarn and pull through both. Then insert the hook through these loops on the side that you just made and pull yarn through them. Then yarn through one loop as if to chain and then through both. So there's a chain forming on this side and your single crochets on this side. Once more hook through both of these loops here on the side through one and through both. If your first row of crochet is double crochets, you don't need a chain either, just chain three. Yarn over and insert the hook into the first stitch and get the yarn and pull through. Then yarn through just the first one. And now make a normal double crochet. Yarn through two and through two. Next one, 
yarn over and uh, insert the hook into the loops you just made there and pull the yarn through get the yarn and pull through one and then through two and through two so now we have a short chain there and then a chain forming here and double crochet is forming here once more And the same works also with trebles, then you just start by chaining four. To make the invisible decrease, start a double crochet. But leave it there. And insert the hook into the next stitch. And make a stitch there. Now yarn over and pull through three of these and yarn over and through two. So that will show very little. You may often need a long chain that is closed into a ring and then the chain can easily get twisted. There's an easy way to avoid that. First chain about 10 Just a short chain, it doesn't matter exactly how many stitches. And then take the hook off the stitch and insert it into the first of the chain stitches from the front. There. And return the hook into the stitch. And continue to chain, keeping the hook always going through the first stitch as well just chain normally depending on what way you hold the hook it looks a bit different what you do and after you have been doing a bit of it and if you have the kind of a hook that I have that doesn't have a handle in the middle um, you can pull it a bit further back so it's not on your way and then keep going until you get the number of stitches you need and it can be absolutely any number of stitches. But I'll stop here now and then after your chain is long enough then pull that start back again and just pull the stitch through it straight like that. So here you have a chain that's joined into a ring and the chain is not twisted anywhere. If you don't want to replace the first double crochet with two or three chains, you can make what is called a standing stitch. The standing stitch is only something you would make in the beginning of a row or round. Turn, then pull your stitch higher, approximately the height of the row. And hold on to the stitch here, then twist round this long stitch right round insert the hook into the first stitch and get your yarn there through there and now we finish this off just as if it was an ordinary double crochet and make sure you are holding on to that stitch very tightly all the time so we yarn over through two loops yarn over and through two and here you are then you continue the row normally when you are working on double crochets you will want to have the edge straight to achieve that you can make just a small change to the end and beginning of each row at the end of the row, start making a double crochet 
but don't finish it off. Leave it like that with two loops on the hook and make another one into the same stitch. Now that you have started two of them, take a yarn and pull through both of them. And uh, if you are using a pattern, this here counts as one stitch only, but it fills in to make this straight. Then to continue, chain two. Very often you hear that you should chain three, but two is enough in this. And turn and make a double crochet into that same stitch where you had those two. That's it. And you do this at the end and beginning of each row. When you are finishing off any item of crochet and you have cut your thread, it's always worth making an extra chain stitch and only then pulling the yarn through. That way it won't move, unravel and it's very tidy. When you have a project that you want to take with you and you want to make sure that you are not losing the stitch and that it doesn't start to unravel or if you just need your hook for another project there are a number of things you can do. You could take a large paper clip and put that into the stitch. Or you can use a large safety pin. Or you can take your ball of yarn, pull the stitch big enough so the ball fits through it. And secure it that way, not too tight. And the last tip for today. How often have you been at the yarn store and there started to think that you would need a new hook in a certain size without remembering what size? To avoid this, what you could do is to keep a list of all the hooks you have, sizes, types, materials, brands, and have that list somewhere where you can always access it. I have mine on Google Drive, so I can easily get to it anytime on my phone and also edit it anywhere. So that was all the 10 tips. Let me know in the comments if you got any new ones here and which tip you find the most useful for yourself. And remember to subscribe. Okay, bye.